Oh, all right. Good afternoon. Um, um this is um crypto toilet yet again. Uh, and people also call me Simple J. But um, I just quickly want to show you guys because some people how to like convert um Binance Smart Chain token to Ethereum 20, which is Ethereum token, and vice versa. What do I mean? What I mean next sense is if you look at this um token right, this Ethereum right here, because of the high fee of Ethereum, all right. So because of the high fee of Ethereum network, all right, because it's too much. You might want to buy five dollar coin on Ethereum network, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you will have to pay about seventy-eight dollars or hundred dollars just to buy five dollar worth of token. And I want to buy nugget. Remember, I I told you guys to buy um, nugget right here. So and I want to buy nugget, right? Let me just quickly show you. Ah, I did. So, uh, from the post I made on Telegram, I, 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 I asked people to, some of the coins I asked people to buy was Nougat. And uh, you see Nougat right here. Since yesterday or two days ago, I asked people to buy it. If you bought Nougat, I think, when you, if, you, if you bought Nougat back then, you should have made about 24% of your money. Yeah. All right, 24% of your money if you buy Nougat. If you remember... I posted it two days ago that you should buy nugget and then it was minus and now twenty-four dollars, twenty-four percent. And let's say you put one thousand dollars, then by now you would have made about two forty dollars as profit. And if you put on um, ten thousand dollars, you would have made about um, two thousand four hundred dollars as profit. So this is nugget. If you come to this exchange, we have to check where it is. And for those who don't know what this app means, this is CoinGecko, just C O I N G E C K O. Just go to um Please start to download CoinGecko. So you can see that there's two places that this coin is currently trading. One is Uniswap version 2 and the other one is CoinSuper. But we can't buy from CoinSuper. Why? Because it is slow. There's no enough this thing here. Just want $34 worth of this thing. So this is a no-no, right? Unlike this, they still have about $9,000 plus volume trading. On need though, even though it's still small, so that is why be careful with your investment. But anything can happen. So because this coin, tomorrow, if it crosses to 0.3, if by tomorrow this coin crosses to 0 0.03, then that means you've made more than uh, um, let's see, more than more than ten, times ten, more than times ten. That means we've made times ten of our money. So now I want to buy this nugget, but it's Ethereum. It's with Ethereum we can because you swap uses Ethereum. Pancake Bakery swap uses what? BNB. So what is going to happen? That is what I want to show you how to use Binance Bridge. And what is Binance Bridge? Binance Bridge is used to convert cross-chain coin. Unlike on Pancake Swap, whereby we can convert um, BNB to BUSD to anything, right? You know, there's what we call BIP20. If you look at this, my Ethereum, this my Ethereum is what BIP20. BIP20 means this Ethereum is spec to uh, is, is is hosted on um, Binance Smart Chain, all right? So I decided to use this because it is hosted on Binance Smart Chain. So that by the time I send, I send it from Binance to my trust wallet, it will not cost me high gas fee, all right? It will not cost me high gas fee. It will only cost me lower gas fee, all right? But however, this Ethereum, I can't use it to trade on, on Uniswap. Why? Because it is not ECL20 Ethereum. It is Binance. It's also the same Ethereum, but on different blockchain, all right? Because Binance Smart Chain is cheaper, so I have to save it on Binance Smart Chain so that in case I want to go and trade it on Binance, I'll be able to send it easily with lower gas fee, all right? So for this reason, but I want to trade on Ethereum, uh, on Uniswap, and Uniswap need Ethereum with what? On Ethereum blockchain, which is ECL20. This is the difference. This is Binance Peg Ethereum, you see BIP20. So let me come and show you, um, let me come and show you Ethereum. Okay, this is normal Ethereum on the ECL20 network. You can see it. This is the main Ethereum on the Ethereum B20 network. But you see it's the same price. But different blockchain. So this is the main one I can use to trade on Uniswap. All right. But the other one of BIP20 or, B, or Binance Match of BIP20 is the same Ethereum too, but it is cheaper when I want to send it to anyone, but to be on Binance Match Network. And if I want to trade it, I can use it to trade on Uniswap. I can only use it to trade on PancakeSwap. And I can use it to trade. I can easily send it to Binance then and convert it to any um, crypto or even convert it to a 20 tokens on Binance Smart Chain. But what if I want to, I don't want to go to um, Binance because currently now if I go to Binance, if you go to Binance, if you buy Ethereum on Binance, if you want to withdraw it to your 
uh, trust wallet account as it's our 20 binance won't process it they, they blocked the transaction they said they said due to some server data you can't withdraw it on you can't withdraw it but if you are trying to withdraw it as vip 20 binance will allow you to withdraw it but i want to trade on uniswap i want to buy nougat so what do i do that is where what um binance bridge comes in place it says okay so what is binance bridge well uh, before i explain binance let's go to um pancake swap because that is all we use that is where we can use our binance bridge what is binance bridge binance bridge is the, is the, is is it's it's something is a is a website created by binance a platform created by binance where you can convert a coin on a blockchain all right you can convert a coin on a blockchain to another coin to that same coin on another blockchain you can put it like for instance i have my ethereum on what on binance smart chain all right and i know that ethereum has their own blockchain which is ethereum blockchain i can easily put it to what to ethereum uh, to um i can easily put the b20 ethereum to isl20 ethereum which is the main ethereum blockchain so that is where the bridge come into place all right so it allows to 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 convert a coin on one blockchain to that same coin on another blockchain but this time around it depends on the blockchain supported by binance all right because let me let's see the blockchain support and how can we do it then we we'll go to pancake swap normally like one or transfer like this normal swap interface we we'll go to binance the normal swap interface we we'll have right here we we'll go to that place then we we'll click on this binance bridge all right we we'll click on binance bridge all right that is where everything is done so because i want to buy nougat so i just want to show you guys how to quickly do it all right so once you are here you will see that we have two this thing right here if you, if you come here first, they will, they will, you will see this sign. B20 will be here, and this will be here. All right. TRX, this is true network. So it means we can do any all sorts of conversion between different blockchain. Let's see the number of blockchain that this thing is supported. If you click here, you see that it supports three blockchain. Um, um, Ethereum network, Binance chain network, then Omni network has been suspended, and we have TRX network, which is thrown. So what does that mean? You know, but have in mind that is no coin you can send to different blockchain you can't you can't convert the all coins to different this thing the coin must be available on those blockchain and for you to know you just click on this asset and see list of supported coin you can see these are the list of supported coin as as long as the coin is supported on that chain like if the coin if that same coin is on being with the coin as different version of blockchain for instance i know usdt we have usdt for um throne on true network we have usdt on binance smart chain network and we have usdt on um binance um on ethereum blockchain too all right i hope you understand me so now let's say i have um usdt on ethereum network and i want to convert it to b20 uh, uh, uh i want to convert it to b20 easily all right i want to convert it to b20 usdt what will i use i can use this bridge the same thing goes to if i want to convert it to throne usdt or i want to convert throne usdt to b b20 or ethereum block it's still the same bridge so it's simple so how do you do it for in my own cases i have ethereum on b20 and i want to convert it to what to ethereum on ecl20 network which is on ethereum blockchain network so what will i do so now here where they write from from all right where they write from all right I will switch. I will click on this switch. All right. Where they write this from, it is the one I have that I want to convert to another that will be there. So what do I have? I have BIP20 Ethereum. So I remember BIP20 is here. All right. So I have to switch it. You see that I just switch directly. I click on this switch directly. Or I just come here. All right. And select Binance Smart Chain. I won't be able to select Binance Smart Chain because Binance Smart Chain has been selected here already. So you see that I just click switch already. I just click switch. Or... I come here to this Binance one and choose maybe Ethereum first. Then I come here, I choose Binance Smart Chain, all right? So Binance Smart Chain will be here. Ethereum Network will be here, the other one. So because I'm converting from Binance Smart Chain with 20 to Ethereum. So once I'm done, first and foremost, I have to click on this Connect Wallet, all right? So before you connect your wallet, make sure because you are trying to swap from BIP20 to Ethereum Network, we have to make sure that this thing is on um, Binance Smart Chain Network because that is where we want to convert because we need some BNB to do that now since BIP20 uses BNB. But assuming we are trying to convert from 
Ethereum to BIP20, then this thing here, all right, will be on Ethereum because it will need to use Ethereum gas, which is Ether. Ethereum, but because you are signing from BIP20 to Ethereum, so it must be smart chain that will be here, all right? So don't forget. So next thing we have to do, we click on Connect Wallet. It will show MetaMask, click on the MetaMask and click on Connect. So automatically it will connect. You can see that it has connected. So the next thing, we click on this asset, all right? This, this USDT. What do we want to convert? I want to convert Ethereum, all right, to on BIP20, okay, to um, Ethereum on um, Ethereum 20. You can see it already that it's connected. So if you look at the balance here, I have 1.25 Ethereum, all right? I have 1.25 Ethereum on Binance Smart Chain Network. And the minimum you can convert, don't forget, is what? Is 0 0.036 Ethereum, which is about $147, all right? That is the minimum. But me, I want to buy just 400 worth of um, Nougat. So I will just click 0 0.113 Ethereum is what I want to convert to normal Ethereum network. So this is the amount I want to convert. But don't forget that they will remove some Ethereum from you as transaction fee for trying to convert it. So you can see right here that the right minimum right here, okay? And the maximum Ethereum you can send at a time. So I'll just click on it because I put the amount of Ethereum I want to transfer. I want to convert to main Ethereum um, blockchain network. So I'll put it there. I'll click on next. Don't forget if it is USDT you want to convert on Binance Smart Chain to Ethereum, you will choose BSD. You will choose uh, USDT right here. Then you will put the amount of the USDT you want to send right here. I want to convert to this um, Ethereum blockchain. All right. So we are trying to convert them to another blockchain. So I'll now click on next. Now, it will bring it out. It will tell me asset Ethereum. You will receive 0 0.06 Ethereum. You can see that they slash my Ethereum. You can see they slash it. 0 0.063 is what they say that we receive. Imagine. Can you imagine how much they are deducting from my Ethereum? Can you imagine what they are deducting from my Ethereum? Can you imagine? 0 0.06. Let's see what 0 0.06 is. I'll go to Binance. All right, they've slashed my Ethereum to, to 245. 063. 063. Imagine something of 0 0.113. Can you see? Can you imagine? 0 0.113, they slash it just because I want to swap. So, so that is how to, um, to you just click on confirm. Once you click on confirm, um, they will they will convert it immediately because they are charging a token of 0 0.05, which is too much. 0 .0, let's see 0 0.05, 0 0.05. It's too much. Showing around four dollars is too much. What the fuck? So that is how to convert to Binance Smart. That is how to convert to this thing. I won't convert now because it's too much. It's too high. It's too much. It's too much. That is, they are taking half of my money. Before it was cheaper, but Ethereum blockchain is 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 is, is high now. Can you see why people are running from Ethereum network? Because it's too high. It's too high. They are charging almost half of my money. Two hundred dollars for what? So, but once you click on confirm, automatically you're able to convert it to Ethereum on blockchain network. But for now. I am not converting because it's silly. The, this thing is too much. So thanks for watching. Nice how to convert it. And once you are done, just go back to your, your, your trust wallet. You see your Ethereum there on the Ethereum blockchain. If I convert to this amount and I want to buy Nougat, they will still charge me another money. So this thing is too high, so I can't convert now. But that is just how to do it though. So thanks for watching. You have a great day.